What is up, guys? I am that boarding school dude. Welcome to another episode. Now, today, um, look, I've been getting a lot of emails from you guys, and I keep getting the same email over and over and over. When are you going to do Andover? Hey, what about Phillips Academy Andover? Hey, when are you going to do Big Blue? Today's the day. Phillips Academy Andover. Big Blue. Okay. Um, look, I don't know what to tell you. It has been dubbed the best high school in America. So we're going to dive in. Let's go. Okay, guys, welcome back. Wow, man, today we are just going to, um, you know, look, I get a lot of emails from you guys and consistently it's been, when are you going to do Andover? When are you going to do Andover? We're doing Andover. What can I tell you about the Phillips Academy Andover? Well, I can tell you a couple things. Phillips Academy Andover, based in Andover, Massachusetts, ranks top 20 in uh, of all boarding schools in the entire country, it ranks top 20 in large student body, large financial endowment, highest endowment per student, low acceptance rates, most sports offered, most extracurricular activities offered, high number of AP advanced courses offered, high average SAT scores, oldest founding date. I mean, look, guys, that's just, you know, like if you're in two of the top 20, I mean, that's, you know, that's that's pretty cool. But this is like, you know, on a whole different level. I mean, let me just get right into like a couple other things here for you. Uh, it is a non-denominational school. It was founded in 1778. I thought the boarding school that I graduated from, uh, which was founded in 1799, was old. But this is like, you know, wow. Campus size, 500 acres. It's, uh, it's pretty creamy. Uh, 1,146 students. That is massive for a boarding school. That's like almost three to four times the size of the boarding school that I graduated from. I mean, that's, I mean, that, and 75% of Andover students board. They board at $59,000 a year, but we'll get to that later. 75% of them board. I mean, they must have like, I mean, campus, like, I mean, it's a, I don't know. Do they even have room for athletic fields? Because they must have dormitories everywhere. I don't know. Um, okay, let's keep going. Now, this is amazing. Average SAT score, 1,446. John, you've got 30 seconds. Starts right now. Uh, hi, Dad. Hi. Uh, I don't really need your help, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to win the million dollars. <laughs> wow. Man. I don't know. Like, is that what you pay for? I hope so, because with 1446, you better be going to Ivy League. Wow. Uh, let's see here. Uh, they offer a post-grad year. Who's ever heard of a post-grad year for high school? I mean, I've heard of it because I do this all the time, but like, wow, pretty cool. Classroom dress code. Casual. I love that. I mean, I guess in certain aspects, I love the uniform. In, some, in other aspects, I love the no uniform. I used to go to school in my pajamas, okay? I'm just being honest. Average class size, 13 students per class. Now, this, is, this might be the most amazing statistic that I give you guys, okay? Teacher to student ratio, one to five, okay? It means for every five students, there's one teacher. That is mind-blowing. That is... I've never heard of such a ratio so low. I mean, that's, wow. Unbelievable. Okay, number of advanced AP courses. 70. 70 AP courses they offer. Wow. 80% of the faculty have advanced degrees. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, I'm going to leave you with one more thing. And this, this is just outrageous. Phillips Academy Andover's endowment. This might be the biggest one that I've ever seen. 1.129 billion, with a B, billion dollars. <sighs> Wow, man, 
When you get up in the billions, I don't know. At that point, why do you even make the kids pay? Interest alone on that every year, I mean, is, I mean, that's, that's a lot. I mean, that's just, that's just absurd. I mean, we're starting to get into like Ivy League territory at that point. I mean, even bigger than some Ivy Leagues, actually, probably crazy. All right. Anyway, I'm done with the uh, monologue. Oh, before I get into it, I just want to touch on one other thing. I get a lot of mail from you guys, okay? And most of it's pretty positive. Hey, that boarding school dude, love your videos, keep doing more. Hey, that boarding school dude, um, have you heard of this school? Can you review it? But, but I get a lot, okay? I can't, I can't do all of it. I don't have enough, enough time in my own life to do it. I own two companies. I got like, you know, a dog. I, you know, I got a little guy. I, I mean, there's like, you know, I got no time. On occasion, I get hate mail as well. Last week, I got one. That boarding school dude, why are you so critical? Why are you so mean? Your videos have no, no talent, no substance. No, listen, for all the haters out there, probably two, don't watch it. Go start your own uh, review channel. And if you want to have fuzzy bunny slipper reviews, then knock yourself out. But here... I'm the boss. I call the shots. If I need to be critical, I'm going to be critical. Period. Let's go, Andover. America's best high school. The best high school in the U.S. Not to be confused with Phillips Exeter. It's at the back of the as Andover. Okay. Fifty three thousand nine hundred. It's incorrect for twenty twenty. I think it's around fifty eight thousand now. Forty two grand for day school. Woo! Okay, so they say that they accept accept students um, based on merit, not wealth. Well, I hate to break it to you guys, but it's like. Like that's kind of antiquated. I mean, the majority of boarding school now accept you on your like scholastic aptitude and your merits and your this and your that. I mean, it's very rare that they accept you these days on like what your parents make. I mean, you either get accepted or you don't. But if you get accepted, then they figure out some sort of, you know, financial package for you. And then it's on you to figure it out. But it, they're usually pretty generous. So Whoever made this video is uh, a little behind the ball. Folks who are not um, so close to Andover or haven't experienced something like this will say, oh, well, you're, you know, you were sent to boarding school. Um, and this uh, sense of agency is for places like, I wasn't sent anywhere. I wasn't sent by my parents. I chose to go to boarding school. True. I chose to go to boarding school. I was highly encouraged to go to boarding school because for a plethora of reasons, but ultimately it was my decision. I loved it. I'm a senior from Natick, Massachusetts. I've attended Andover for four years, and it is a distinct pleasure of mine to bring all of you around on what I believe is the best school in the world. The most important- Ballsy statement right there. And, you know, unless he's gone to other boarding schools, like I have, um, Oh, that's a pretty big statement right there. I mean, I could think of a couple right off the bat internationally that are, if not are on top of this one, we'll, we'll, we'll get to them. The thing that you learn on this campus is how every single faculty member and every single student, when they're walking on what's these called the paths, they're smiling. They're clearly enjoying themselves at their school. I well, they better be at that price. That the boarding experience is so much more beneficial to the students because they get to live on their own and they get to experience high school as most people experience their college. Lighting in that dorm room is kind of shitty. What we're trying to accomplish here is to be absolutely excellent in the classic ways of academics, of sports, of arts, of community engagement, all of those things but also really focusing on the young person in their wholeness and to make sure that we 
encourage kids to have wellness as essential to their experience, to make sure they're getting sleep, to make sure that they're eating well, to make sure that they're exercising. All of those things, I think, go together with this idea of excellence. And I think that that combination of things is working really well right now. There are 44 states and 44 countries represented in the current student body. I mean, that's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. I mean, man, talk about diverse. I like that. We don't post grade point averages. We don't. We, we try to take some very specific steps not to elevate competition in those ways. We do a lot of collaborative work. They don't post grade point averages. Well, you can be damn sure that the student body uh, internally is posting them together when they're on dorm. Because let me tell you something about private school and boarding school in general. It's very competitive. It's not like public school, which I went to, by the way. And public school, I kind of felt like, uh, you know, there there was there wasn't this like, um, how can I say, collective endeavor for people to just be scholastically um competitive with one another when i got to private school that was like that was like that was like one of the more even even more competitive things than like being on a sports team i mean the whole student body took uh you know took pride in how good their grades were so i even remember at my at the boarding school that i went to if you got in trouble like if you had disciplinary action um against you they would post that Okay, so that there was no like rumor spreading. It came from the horse. It was like right outside, like the, the head of school's office. It was like a almost kind of felt like a seventeenth century like town center of town where they would post up like a something like a I don't know. They were going to burn a witch or something like that. It was pretty wild. Anyway, Andover, come on. Classes we do a lot of collaborative work on teams. We do a lot of collaborative work um, out, outside to. And we do, in terms of our nice library. for students, there are many positions where there's actually co-presidents, so there are co-leaders, to send a clear message to our kids, collaboration is a skill that you're going to need to develop well in order to be able to, to move forward here with success. Mental health here is one of the most important things on campus because the only way for you to show your affection for someone, to love someone else, to build connections and build bonds, is to firstly... Love yourself. Okay. I mean, okay. I like that. I like that. Because let me tell you something. You know, it's real different than it was 20 years ago. 20 years ago, we didn't, like, have the internet in school. I mean, now these students have, like, every question that they could ever ask. The answer is, like, in the palm of their hands, like, in their iPhones. I mean, yeah, mental health. Man. I feel I kind of feel bad for kids these days in school. I mean, I feel like, you know, your almost your popularity now is based on like how many like Twitter followers or Facebook friends that you have. Uh, you know, it's kind of sad. It's uh, I don't know where I'm going with this, but anyway, Andover. The most distinctive thing about Andover's program is the need blind admissions policy in our 11th year. How can you have a morally responsible high school with a billion dollar endowment? It's when you actually do admit kids solely on the basis of their you know, the admission criteria that have nothing to do with that. I'm so happy that I made the decision to come here because there is so clearly a universal commitment to being loved and to love that you don't find at any other school. Ah. Let's uh, check out another one.
um, all right. I kind of don't like this video. I know I'm going to get killed on that, but like, I'm just I'm not feeling it so far. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, this place is like unbelievable, but like the marketing videos are kind of whack. <laughs> All right, that's lovely. Sorry. I mean, that's like, give me more of that. Like, you know, I feel like I haven't seen enough of the campus. Maybe one more. Last one. My whole life, I felt smart and different. And in the public school system, they accepted that, so they didn't really push me. My dad came upstairs with the envelope in his hands and he said, Kaya, like, I think you want to open this. And it was my acceptance letter. He said, like, wow, like, dad, I got accepted. I can't even imagine that feeling, knowing that you, you got accepted. I already like this video than the other one. Let's just get that out of the way first, because I feel like there's like some sort of narrative here right, that I didn't get in the last one. Man, getting an acceptance letter and knowing that you're going to go here. Man, what a special feeling that must be. I think the kind of tipping point for me was the beginning of squash season. There are eight members of the squash team, and I feel like every single one of them is one of my sisters and our coach. Don't tell mom that. She doesn't want to hear that. I have a group of girls that I could always rely on and a coach that would always believe in me. And I think that was the moment in which I decided that I could never really go back. The night before my revisit day, my mom took me here and she said, well, let's look around campus. Let's check it out. Totally. That used to be like one of my favorite things. Like before I like went to boarding school, like if I knew that I was going there, I used to love going there like throughout the summer to like check it out and just like see what was going on. I thought it was cool. Turn the corner and there was Sandville. On Sandville is a clock and at night it shines bright blue. I was completely riveted. Every day I love walking past that clock and I look up at it and I think, okay, this is Looks cold there in the winter. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like some deep snow up there in Massachusetts. Everyone. It was our last offensive drive and I made a catch at a somewhat crucial time. And I feel like that catch is what pushed me all the way into the end of the movie. Like I finally felt like I bled blue and that so many alumni were there. I, just, I didn't know that the That's connection awesome. was, was so strong that it was special to me. Where um, it really began was when our prefects called us together, all our 15 boys, and we just you know, hung out and talked. Suddenly, I, I felt such a connection to them. I felt like I had known them for so much longer than just a day. I was really nervous going into it. I didn't know what to expect. When I got there, it felt a bit more like a community. There was a lot more camaraderie and less competitiveness. And I guess that's when it, it really clicked that Andover was a little place. There's a moment for everyone where they look up 
and they realize that they're surrounded by all their favorite people. You realize how, how dissimilar you are from your peers, but at the same time, how those dissimilarities can connect you. The relationship. Yeah, I, you know, that's probably one of the most true statements that I think that you can make when you go away to boarding school for high school. I mean, you're definitely not going to have people like just from the surrounding area. There's going to be like a ton of people from all over the place. And it's weird, um, you know, and even 20, 25 years out um, of graduating boarding school. Is it really that long? Am I that fucking old? Oh, my God. Do you really? It's, um, yeah, it's going to be 25 years soon. Anyway, sorry. Um yeah, you know, in some weird way, I still feel like I have a connection with a lot of the classmates that I graduated with, even though we're all very different, from very far places away in different states. And I remember what the guy that I shared my senior page with in my yearbook, I mean, he was from South Korea. You know, I mean, I, I think that just kind of underscores, you know, um, the connections that you make to boarding school that you just normally wouldn't make anywhere else. And I'm sure that's very true for Andover as well. You can meet your meet your teachers as well as your friends. It's really something special. It's kind of amazing to be surrounded by people and really passionate about what they're doing. There's just so many people here who are like genuinely interested in you know, succeed. Kind of disappointed that this video is not in 4K. Is that weird? They're using the resources for the general level is packed in for each teacher. Every teacher really seems to just absolutely love what they're teaching. And yeah, because they're at like one of the best schools in the country. I mean, I'm, they better be happy. If you've ever taught in like inner city public school, you're not happy. It's a class is so much more enjoyable. You get swept into the Andover experience and you don't even realize that it's happening. Definitely a better video than the last one. Okay, I get it. Okay. Wow. Listen, um, fair and balanced over here. I feel that I was fair and balanced and I'm going to be fair and balanced with my score. A um, couple of things I want to note. I, me, that boarding school dude will never be pressured into a dude score that's higher than deserved. A couple of things. Let me just kind of Take two steps back here. The reputation alone that Andover has is into the next stratosphere. So it's going to be in the nines. Now, where do I put it in the nines? Well, it seems that some other periodicals and entities out in the ether have already dubbed it the best high school in America. I think it's in that um, discussion to be included in that. But let me tell you this, from the marketing videos that they put out, and I get it, like not all the marketing videos that every school puts out is going to be like mind blowing. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I thought Exeter's marketing videos were way better than Andover's. I thought Deerfield's um, marketing videos were better than Andover's. So Andover, if you're out there and you're listening, look, I think your school deserves a way better platform and videos because I didn't see them. You want to send them to me privately? Send it. I'll take a look. But as of right now, um, compared to the other schools and the other things and this and that, 9.5, that dude score, 9.5, which is an unbelievable score. It's nothing to scoff about. Okay, and I know all of you Andover um, alums are going to be like nine five. How could it be any better? Well, I'm just telling you from what I saw. Next episode, we're probably going to get to some nine eights, nine nines. I don't know, but I think I might do like a boarding school that I'm very familiar with in Switzerland. I'm not going to give it away now, but I think you guys will have a very, very healthy respect. But look, nine five, great score. Wow. You know, pretty amazing. Um, it would have been higher with better videos, though. But between the reputation, between the league that they're in, the endowment size, the average SAT score, man, 
I mean, look, I'll put it this way. If I had to choose, yeah, I mean, like, look, it's in the discussion for the top three. I mean, for sure. I mean, I think it really just comes down to the individual, you know? And that, and that really comes down to going and visiting the campus and, 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 and vibing with it. Yeah, look, well done. Great score. That's it. Big blue, Andover, 9-5. That board is cool, dude. See you guys soon.